Good afternoon, it's Jill AQ from a Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm having a little art lab day today, testing out some paints and pouring medium and um, some new paints I've been sent. I will show you if I can get this glove on. Oh, okay, I've got a mixture of paints here that I've had for a while, so I just wanted to use a few odd things up. But they are mostly the um, Art Alchemy Acrylic Paint Opal Magic Yellow Blue. Um, I've mixed up some of these Art Alchemy and some, some, oh, I think they're both the same Opal Magic Art Alchemy and then just uh, acrylic paint Art Alchemy, Alchemy, is that the word? Now I've mixed these with, um, okay, I've mixed them with the uh, Montmartre Flow Medium, so I'm not sure, I think like um, in the US you would probably be mixing them with the uh, Liquitex um, pouring medium but I thought I've got this on hand so I just used this acrylic flow medium and I did put a few drops of the gloss in so hopefully it dries nice and glossy so those are what I've used to um, mix up my paints oh and I've also used some of the dragonfly the folk art dragonfly glaze um, and I've used some of the Plaid Folk Art Black Sequin Metallic. I've used that one and I used some of the uh, other metallic in Amethyst and another bit of Dragonfly Glaze. So I've got a, a real old mixture here. So I'm going to just see. I mean, I don't know what it's going to come out like with this particular pouring medium. I did put um, some white paint just with I just mixed it with flow troll it's all turned out quite thin these paints um, I mean the color shift ones are a little bit thicker but not too thick the art alchemy that I mixed with the pouring medium say 50 50 I was thickened up a bit because I mixed this all up about two or three hours ago I was going to leave it overnight like I normally do but I thought well it's a pouring medium we'll give it a go so there's a right old mixture of paints in there but oh that's all glistening all different sorts of colour so I haven't used these paints before so without further ado do do let's get this show on the road so thank you all for joining me thanks so much for subscribing to my channel I appreciate each and every one of you I truly do so if you haven't subscribed please do so it is appreciated so I'm just going to pour some white paint this was just thinned down with flow troll a bit of flow troll but mostly water so I'm going to just use this little flip cup so a flip and lip so I'm going to pour a bit of the white into the bottom which is the one that has the flow troll in it I'm going to try, oh, I'm not sure what the blue one was called, uh, blue green it's got on it, so oh, it's the most delicious blue, but I'm just a bit worried that I've made them up thinner. If anybody has used these paints and know uh, how to correctly mix them and the uh, quantities, I'd be really happy to hear from you. I've got all these paints from Capriole Shabby Chic, so I suppose I should ask the supplier because they will be able to tell me, or probably on the site of the actual um, paint company. So obviously it was the Amethyst Teal and then this one, oh is that is just glistening so much in there. I'll put the Amethyst back over it, um, a bit more of that white. I'm hoping this white helps create some lacing in here. They're just gorgeous colours, really, really beautiful. So, I'll 
try back this so I'll do a few of these and see how they turn out I'm going to put a little bit of the black don't want to put too much just want to put some um, contrast in there now I'll do a flip I'll flip over on this paint maybe I should have I should have waited to pour the paint around the cup but there you go you live and learn so I'm gonna do a flip oh shikes oh my goodness look at that is like wowzers that is just shimmering so just give it a little baby tap easy whizzy let's get busy oh those colors so i want to do the flip and lip it through but i might just pour a little bit more paint so it's i can um get the edges covered before instead of trying to stretch my paint too far gorgeous oh, I like it just like that that is just so shimmery oh wow that is just gorgeous that's really really lovely maybe I should put some heat on it can you see that glistening? No silicon in any of this. So you don't have to worry about mopping up silicone at the end to um, when you come to seal it. So hopefully I can uh, resin this. Let's hope that it just... Wow, <laughs> I just like it like this. I don't want to do anything to it. I suppose you don't have to, but I've got to spread some of the paint around. Otherwise it will crack if it's this thick. Very, very, oh my goodness. It's very runny. So if somebody does know what I should be using or if it, this is how it should be mixed, I suppose I can just go to the site would probably be the best thing. Now I wish I'd added a bit more of the black because I think that would have, because I've run it off basically. I'm not worried about the very tippies because I can just finger pop them. Somebody asked me if the word finger pop was an Australian. No, I don't know where I've got that from. I just know that I'm using my finger and I'm pop, 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 pop in it so it just seemed sort of like a normal thing finger popping oh that is so gorgeous that is beautiful I'm gonna just oh, look at that paint underneath I should definitely dip some coasters in that I will get coaster in a minute but I just want to use my finger and pop the edge so what do you think guys that is so nice but I'd really like to know what I am supposed to be uh, how I'm supposed to be making this paint up I could get back on to Capriol Shabby Chic the suppliers the online suppliers and but I suppose the um, thing to do is look at the the site for the actual paint online and google it and it will sh surely um have all the info i love that that is so stunningly gorgeous lovely that is just glistening it's beautiful absolutely beautiful love it love it love it i will definitely be doing more of these it is just shimmery because it has got the dragonfly glaze in it too so look at what that dragonfly glaze is just gorgeous I'm just gonna heat it and see it's 
No, I love that. I love it. It was a quickie, but a goodie. I'll just see if I can bring you in a bit closer. Wow, I love it. It is so shiny. You cannot see that through this camera, but it is so shiny. And I know when I put a resin coat on it, it will be beautiful. That is really, really lovely. So let me know if you've used these paints, give me any pointers. I would absolutely um, love to hear from you if you've got any uh, constructive information to give me about it, but I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's stunning, stunning, stunning. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Until next time, bye for now. Um, I will add a little Nana joke in one second. And I'll add the dry photos, so have a look at how it turned out at the end. Okay, I hope you liked that video on those very shimmery paints. My joke for the day is two guys walked into a bar. The third one ducked. Think about it. Okay, how do you get a country girl's attention? A tractor. <laughs> You can roll your eyes. Absolutely for sure. Stay safe, people. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye for now.